In this video, we're going to take a look at how we add in a modular plug terminated link or MPTL test to our CAT6 project. So in this case, I'm going to come in and tap on my CAT6 permanent link test. This is where I can add additional tests. Now we can have up to 10 tests per project. So we could have a number of copper tests, permanent link, channel, MPTL. We could also have some fiber tests in here. So I'm going to come down and select new test. Then I'm going to select my cable type. And we see that because we'd used CAT6 before, that it's right up there at the top of our last used list. As with my test before, I want to make sure my nominal velocity of propagation is correct. And we're going to come down to test limit. I'm going to tap on test limit. Now MPTL is up at the top, but I want to show you where to find it. We're going to go to more. We're going to go to TIA. We're going to select CAT6. And down here we see CAT6 MPTL and CAT6 MPTL plus PoE. So what's the difference? Well, the plus PoE adds the resistance for the loop resistance and the resistance for the resistance unbalanced within a pair and between pairs. So this gives us an idea of the, how that cable is going to carry PoE. So I'm going to go ahead and select plus PoE because I'm probably going to be hooking up things like access points or cameras that are going to be running off of PoE. As with our setup before for just the permanent link test, we want to leave store plot data on. We want to leave HDTDR TDX set to fail and marginal pass. And we can set our outlet configuration here. I'm using T568B. We could set it to A depending on whichever one we're using. So we're going to come back. We're all ready to go with this. Now, one important note when it comes to MPTL. With MPTL, we use the patch cord adapter. So in this case, I would need the DSX PC6 patch cord adapter. If you don't have a patch cord adapter, then you're going to need to do something like a Bixi test where we do a single connector test. And we'll cover that in a different video. But this is how we go in and set up our MPTL test. Now we're going to go ahead and say use selected. Now let's say that these tests used a different set of cable IDs. Well, in that case, I can select my cable ID and I can say change cable IDs and I can add a new cable ID set. So I'll call this cable ID set M001 through, I don't know, let's say we have 24. So we'll say 24. I'll say done and we'll say save. And now I can say use that new cable ID set I just created and I'll say done. So now I've got my MPTL test set up. I've got my next cable ID and I'm ready to go in and start testing my MPTL cables. So be sure to check out our other videos on how to get the most out of your Fluke Networks Versive, whether you're testing copper or fiber.